Scientists have announced the discovery of a new species of titanosaur from the Cretaceous period in Argentina, and it is one of the largest sauropods ever found. Welcome back to Paleopedia, and the titanosaurs were the last and most successful group of sauropods throughout the age of the dinosaurs. First appearing in the fossil record around 140 million years ago, they are found on every continent all the way up until the end of the age of dinosaurs around 65, 66 million years ago and contain some of the largest animals to ever walk the earth. Among the largest of the titanosaurs is Bustingori Titan Shiva, a new species that was just announced in the last week or so. Named after the Hindu god Shiva, the destroyer, Bustingorian Titan is not the largest sauropod ever found, but it is very large. Early estimates put its length at around 98 feet and its weight at around 74 tons. So it's not the largest sauropod ever. There are other relatives like Argentinosaurus that do match and exceed it in size. But it's still really big and the discovery of Bustingori Titan shows that within the Titanosaur family, Mega Titanosaurs, species that exceed 55 tons in weight, evolve independently of each other. As an example, Argentinosaurus and Bustingori Titan are close relatives of each other. They are both titanosaurs that lived in the same general region of Argentina at around the same time, from 96 to about 92 million years ago. But Argentinosaurus, alongside its relatives like Perictosaurus and Alamosaurus, are part of the Lonchosauria clade of sauropods, whereas currently Bustingori Titan is classified as a member of the Saltosauroids, which were a later group of sauropods that are close related to Lonchosauria, but evolved separately from each other across many millions of years. So Bustingori Titan didn't evolve from members of Lonchosauria, which means that it evolved its giant size separately from them. The the discovery of Bustingori Titan shows that prehistoric Patagonia during the Cretaceous period was a hot spot for sauropod diversity as both Bustingori Titan and Argentinosaurus were found in the same regions at the same time alongside several other smaller sauropods and other big sauropods like Patagotitan. And ecologically, all of these sauropods had different head and tooth shapes to them, alongside body size and several other factors, indicating that they were all able to find their own little role within the Cretaceous Patagonia ecosystem. Which is really important to know, considering in North America, at around the same time, there's only one known species of sauropod, and that's Alamosaurus. So there's a big contrast between North America and South America in terms of sauropod diversity. Unfortunately, as it is with most large titanosaurs, we only have a few fossils of busting gory titan to go on, mainly leg and foot bones, which are still incredibly important, but they can only give us so much information. So hopefully more fossils can be found of not just busting gory titan, but other giant titanosaurs that lived alongside it to give us a better idea of just what the landscape was like for Cretaceous Patagonia.